Hey, hey, I saw you on the server. Still building things from old TV shows and movies in Minecraft, huh? Old habits. You look terrible. Huh, <laughs> thanks. Why did you call me, Dean? I was hoping that you'd heard. That maybe you'd go to the funeral? What is this? This is just a blank piece of paper. I've been flying a lot. Look, Dean. You need to stop doing this and try and get a job. This Minecraft realm I've got, I've been using it. Every Friday night, I... I open Minecraft and I start building palm trees or plane wreckage or secret underground bunkers. And then I stop and I... Have a drink and then I go home. Oh my god, it's happening again. Because I want it to crash, Kate. I want the game to crash. I don't care about anybody else on the server. Every bit of lag, every failure to connect. I mean, I actually close my eyes and pray that I can get back. I'm not even a real person. I'm just an armor stand and you trying to do an American woman's voice. No, I'm sick of lying. We've made a mistake. Last ended 11 years ago, Dean. It wasn't supposed to end like that. Yes, it was. We have to go back, Kate. Goodbye, Dean. We have to go back. Namaste, my Dharma brand ladles and jelly spoons, and welcome back to the island. We're going to be taking a little sneaky peek around my version of the island from Lost. It's not exactly a one-to-one -one scale replica, nor is it geographically accurate, and quite frankly, just like in Season 5, the timeline is all over the place. But this is just one of those classic Minecraft builds that got wildly out of hand, and don't you just love those? Like, I'm going to make a desert island. I'm going to make it the island from Lost. I'm going to build a beach camp and a plane crash and a smoke monster and the foot of a giant statue that's only got four toes. Anyways, let's take a little look, shall we? So, we start off here with the portal where you enter the island from. And the first thing you see when you come out is this. Sacrificial altar. That's got nothing to do with the lost theming of the island. That's left over from when me and my friends first discovered the island and sacrifices had to be made. Um, don't worry about that. Over here we have the first of our little shacks made out of strips of blue tarpaulin and bits of wreckage recovered from the plane. That's, that's my little house where I sleep when I'm on the island. We have a lot of these palm trees planted all over the island. Every single one of them I had to build by hand because obviously there aren't palm trees in Minecraft and they were an absolute pain in the ass to build. I am never doing custom trees ever again. Coming up over here, obviously, we've got our jungle polar bear. One of the many remnants left over from the Dharma Initiative. And over here, we have the wreckage from the plane crash. We have a big chunk of the fuselage lying here. One of the plane turbines and general bits of debris lying around all over the place. You can see inside the plane. And if you go up inside, fortunately the lights still work. So you can still see inside here. Coming through the plane, out the back we have more bits of debris, more bits of wreckage. We have a big chunk of landing gear lying in the middle of the beach and just more bits of junk lying around all over the place. If we come round to this little corner at the back over here, we've got the little chapel that Mr Echo and Charlie started building but never got round to finishing. And over here we have the four-toed statue, which was never really properly explained, I don't think. We saw the bigger version of it, but we were never actually told 
who built it or why or for what purpose but you can go inside it and in here we have Jacob's little room with his loom and that's the fire that Ben ended up kicking Jacob into and if we come back outside again and run back round to the rest of the beach over here we have the main kitchen area we've got our little shelves with all our bits of food and rations stacked up and we have this big thing here it's a big trough full of water for everyone to share round here we've got another little shack that somebody's built out of more bits of plain debris and things they found lying around on the beach and coming round over to here we have the raft from season one that was built by Michael and son that they tried to escape from the island on and they ended up having Walt kidnapped over here this other island this is what this island was before I converted it into the island from Lost this whole thing is built on what was once a mushroom biome which I entirely covered in sand and the beauty of that is mobs don't spawn in mushroom biomes so no matter how dark it gets you'll never ever have any monsters spawning here at all I mean I say there's never any monsters spawning here we do have this smoke monster that spawned here and as you can see, I've done that very nicely out of black glass. I'm very pleased with how my smoke monster turned out. I think that's about as good of a smoke monster as you can get in Minecraft. I think that's turned out very nicely. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Dean, how can you make the island from Lost without having the hatch? Well, obviously, obviously I'm going to do a hatch. And that's right up here. Over here, first of all, though, we have another little cooking and crafting area. But then we come back round up here. And here we have the little exposed entrance to our hatch. On the side here, we've got the numbers, which I didn't even need to look up. I have people in my life that I have known for years and years and years, and I still can't remember their name. But for some reason, I still remember all of the numbers from Lost off by heart. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. Why is that locked into my brain? I don't know. But if we go and take a little peek inside, you can see the ladder only goes down so far, and there's a puddle at the bottom. And if we drop ourselves down, we can enter the swan hatch. And in here, we have the main room. We've got the little kitchen island in the middle. We've got the broken ping pong table and all the bookshelves and radio. We have the sofa that Anna Lucia got shot on. I mean, there wasn't really a map of the island in the hatch, but it's a nice little touch. I think it looks good on the wall. It makes a nice piece of art. In here, we have the armory slash prison cell as it ended up being round here we have a couple of conspicuously modern looking washing machines which were never really explained either in here we have the little storage pantry that hurley found with all the food inside of it we have the dartboard on the wall we have the little seating area with its little pretend window on the outside and some more pipes and ducts. This thing on the counter here, that's supposed to be a blender. And this little thing here, that's supposed to be a lava lamp, which are things that they had in the hatch. I'm not sure how effective they are at being those things, but there they are. It's the little touches that make all the difference. But best of all, the thing that you came to see is the button room with all the little reel-to-reel old-school computers and flashing buttons and lights on the wall. And up in front of you, you've got the countdown timer for 108 minutes. 
And you know, it's been it's been tricky since I built this actually, having to come down here and enter the numbers and press the button every hundred and eight minutes. But I mean, you've got to do it. You don't want to have another incident. That's the last thing you need. Um, and we've got a little work table here. But I think this turned out really quite nicely. And then to leave the hatch, you come back along this corridor, which of course no mobs can spawn in because we're in a mushroom biome, which is the best place you could ever hope to have to build anything in. And we step into a little bubble elevator. And it brings you back up here again. And it is raining again. It never rains when I play this bloody game. Every time I make a video, it rains constantly. Anyway, so there you have it. That's my mini version of The Island from Lost. If there's anything important I forgot to add, then you can let me know in the comments. If you've watched the video all the way to the end and you want to be added to Jacob's list to become a candidate to be the next protector of the island, then give the subscribe button a little nudge. But if you're not ready to make that level of commitment, that's cool. I get that. In that case, just click the like button and we'll see where it goes from there. But rest assured that I'll be watching you from the magical mirror in the top of my ancient lighthouse. And if you've no idea what I'm talking about, then you obviously didn't watch Lost all the way to the end of the final season. And, well, yeah, that's fair enough. I've been your crumbled toast, Dean of the Dead. This has been Minor Difficulties. And never forget, if we can't live together, then we're going to die alone. Thanks for watching. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.